guys, today we're going to be filming a favourites video of my favourite beauty products. So if you want to have a nosy, see what I'm like at the moment and maybe go out and buy some yourself, then keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I would love you for it and give it a like and a comment, that would be so good. And let's get into the video. My first favourite of the video is the liquid lip that I'm wearing right now. So this is Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the colour Commando. And I think I have to stress with Kylie lips, do not get the mattes, okay? The normal original liquid lip that she brought out is damn right awful. Um, I will only get the velvets now because they don't crumble, they don't dry up, they just stay in a nice velvety finish that's the only way i can describe it so yeah forget the mattes just go for any kind of velvet like kylie liquid lip and you will not be disappointed commando is a nude i really like how it's a warm nude and also i love the shade birthday suit which is quite similar to this one i'm also loving at the moment the hourglass um ambient lighting powders um i've got two shades here dim light and diffused light and they're really nice shimmery powders, but they don't appear shimmery on the skin. So you can't really see it there, but you can see how it leaves a little bit of a glow as opposed to a glitter or a shimmer. And I'm using this under the eyes because I'm really struggling with translucent powders. You know, when you just get a tub of powder and you're supposed to just lightly dust it under your eyes, it makes me look about 100 and it's just not working for me. It makes me look wrinkly and old. So with these, I get a tiny bit on a brush and just dust it under the eyelid to stop creasing and on the eyelid too. And yet yeah, it just it works a treat. A lot, a lot of powders I've used make me so old. It's so crazy how it can just age it instantly. But these are really lightweight and I think that's why I like them. So Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I absolutely have to talk about the Jaclyn Hill Flash. It's called The Flash Palette. Um, it's highlighting palette and I absolutely adore them. It's not something that I bought and, you know, used a few times and put it back. This gets used every single day with her brushes too. So she also added, I think it's three brushes to her collection. And this just doesn't look like a great highlighting brush. Um, I remember M -M -M Mitch saying that he wouldn't think it would apply well. And when he actually used it, it was just perfect. It goes on so well and dense and just Look how it applies there, it's beautiful. That is the J03. And I use this one for cheekbones and then this one for uh, the inner corner of the eye. Brightens it up so beautifully and the palette is so sturdy. The mirror's beautiful, it's a proper mirror. No plasticky thing that makes you look warped. And I do appreciate the work that's gone into this. I've watched a video on how, you know, she, she put the palette together and stuff and I can tell that it is such a quality. I've used this every single day and when it comes to my other highlighters, I don't want to know. I literally feel like giving them all away and just using this. It is a shame, the only thing I will say about these two, they're a little bit too dark and I will probably will never use them and they don't look that great on the eye, but that's just to do with your skin tone, so that will benefit somebody perfectly, just not my skin tone. Love it. Just want to quickly mention a pill box for lashes. It is the best thing I ever found, it's some sort of hack that I found online. Um, you literally just put your lashes in here and take them wherever you go on holiday and then you've got seven days of lashes because sometimes they break, sometimes they've been worn too much, sometimes you want heavier, sometimes you want lighter. Day and night looks, you know, it's just a little sneaky hack and I love doing that. I have to mention my collection of Lash Surge Mascara. This is, I think, four quid, four or five quid and it is absolutely the bomb. It is so good. I swore by Mac Factor for years. I was paying 12 quid for that, and this is just as good. I want length, because I've got short lashes, and this definitely adds to it, so good length in mascara. Two Anastasia Beverly Hills products. We've got the Clear Brow Gel and the Taupe Brow Gel right here, and these are great. This one's just a finisher um, to make sure that you've got no stray hairs if they're um, if you're in the wind or whatever and they blow up, it, these will stay put all day with this. And then this is when I can't be bothered painting my brows on with a little brush. I just get this, it's got a mascara wand, wipe it off a little bit and then quickly, boom, boom, and it's done. 
So I love those for quickness and efficiency. I have this Muck Emco Beauty um, liner. This is for the waterline or wherever else. Um, I use this for when I've curled my lashes and you can see this part is in a line there. I just paint this on and you then cannot see it. And it gives more of a smoky look to the eye. Absolutely loving the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. As always, this is gonna be my wedding makeup. It's in the shade 190. It's a matte foundation, so when you put it on, it does dry quite quickly, so you have to work fast with it. But I like the finish because it's so matte, it's so full coverage, and it's not gonna smear around on your face. It stays put all day, and that's what I like about it. And the shade range, absolutely bang on. You can get the exact shade range. I like to go a bit warmer and a bit darker if you're thinking that is definitely not your shade. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It is amazing. I just bought two because I don't want to run out. Quick mention about my perfume. This is the Dior Joy perfume. Um, absolutely love this smell. Really fresh and sweet for the daytime and the night, I suppose. And um, Joe got it engraved for me, which is really cute. It says to Emma. Or my love, Joe. And I've just really enjoyed that, so I wanted to mention that. It's now empty and going in the bin. Baby wipes. I know it's not the most glam thing, but um, when you're using them for makeup, like wiping spillages and just wiping, you know, mistakes on your face, these are the ones. Fred and Flo, it's a Tesco wipes. Really moist. I like it when they're nice and wet and they can do the job and they don't dry up like certain wipes. So I like those, just a quick mention of those. I have this MAC eyebrow brush. I have to mention this because I've had it in my makeup kit for years and years and years. Um, I'm gonna insert what it is down below because I it's rubbed off and I'm gonna have to Google which number it is. But it is perfect for drawing on the brows stroke by stroke. So it looks like you have actual hairs there and it makes them look thicker and it's just a really, really good brush. And I've just bought another one because is starting to just get like lose its shape a little bit. I want to mention this phone stand. It's U Green. It's off Amazon. If you can see that name there, um, perfect. You can put it up like this. You can put it all the way out. And I like to watch YouTube videos while I'm doing my makeup. So I just put it on portrait or landscape, and it's got a nice bit of rubber there just to keep it everything sturdy and still. Not much you can say about a phone stand, but I really rate this, so it's a good one. We then have this, um, what would you call it? Piece of plastic. It's by Makeup Box London. My mum got it me for Christmas. And it's to put your makeup on here without getting it on your hand. I suffer with dermatitis. Got a little bit here on my hand, if you can see it. Um, so I can't put makeup on my hand because it makes it worse. So yeah, just put that on there. You can mix anything in you want. And I found it really handy, so thanks mum. And last but not least, Last but not least, I have some Cloud9 straighteners. I wanted to mention these because I just got them out after lockdown, after not using them for months and months and months, and then um, getting them back out to use them for a gig. And I have to say, these are just amazing. You've got so many temperatures, you can put it on. GHDs, in my opinion, are way too hot. And the ones that go up to 220, it's like, you do not want to be putting that on your hair. It's just gonna sizzle, it's gonna fry it. So you can have it on 150, you can go all the way down to below 100. 150 is perfect for me, it does my hair absolutely fine. Curls it and straightens it, no problems whatsoever. So love the Cloud9 straighteners. If you're looking for some, sorry, stylers. I'm not supposed to say straighteners anymore because it curls it as well. But yeah, love those. So that's my favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.